As a marketing recruitment firm, on a day-to-day -day basis, we talk to candidates all the time. And we get in very interesting conversations with people about their career, what's the right next step for me, and what should I do as it relates to growth. And one of the questions that we've gotten quite a bit recently is, if I'm offered a promotion internally, should I take it? And there's a general answer to that, and then there's some asterisks. So ultimately, the general answer is yes, right? If you're offered a promotion, then obviously you've done a great job in the role that you're in, so congratulations. And number two, now you want to move forward and grow and challenge yourself. So the question we're getting, though, is interesting because sometimes candidates are saying, you know, I'm uncomfortable because there are things in that new role that I don't know. There are things in that new role that I've never done. And the reality is that should be the reason why you take it, right? That should be the reason why you jump at a new opportunity is so you can grow and so you're forced to learn new things. So once you accept that promotion and you sit down and say, well, I just went from a director to a VP and here's all the things that a VP is supposed to be able to do and supposed to know, which of those do I know and can I do and which of those you know, do I need to learn something new? And then the most important thing is when you understand what those gaps are, you're responsible for fixing that. And what I mean by that is we typically talk about career development as a balanced path, meaning you and the organization are 50% responsible for your growth, your learning, and making sure that you're developing. But if you accept a promotion, that's completely different. If you're now being paid like a VP and are expected to perform like a VP, then you need to step up and be able to do that. And it's 100% your responsibility to get yourself there. A few instances where you may want to look at this opportunity and say, you know what, it's not the right next step. But feeling uncomfortable or uneasy or like there's something that you don't know isn't one of them. Please challenge yourself, right? So those instances are, you know, you have to understand your long-term goal. So if my long-term goal is to be chief marketing officer at company X or a company of whatever size, right, does this promotion continue me on that path towards that long-term goal or is it taking me off on a detour? So if you're director of digital marketing and you get offered a promotion that's in IT because digital marketing has a lot of technology skill, technical skills, then should I step out into IT if my goal is to be the CMO? And the answer is no, right? So if it's going to take you off your long-term path, you don't want to do that. And the second time where you may want to hesitate or may want to pass on a promotion is you need to look at who you're going to be reporting to, make sure that's someone that you respect, someone you want to work with, and someone that you feel like can help you develop and grow long term. And I'm not saying that person has to be perfect because they don't, but you know, you've got to want to work with them and for them.